Question number six. Triangle PQR is shown opposite with PQ 14.5 metres, PR 13.2 metres and RQ 9.7 metres. Part A asks us to calculate the size of the smallest angle in the triangle. Uh, the smallest angle in the triangle will be the one here because it's opposite the shortest side. So that's how we find the smallest angle in the triangle. It will be the one facing the shortest side. So this is the one we're trying to find. We'll mark that in. This angle here. So we have uh, three sides given on the triangle, no other angles. This tells us that uh, we're going to use the cosine rule for finding angles. So we'll write that down. It's cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Now the letters on our triangle are P, Q and R. What we're going to do is we're going to relabel our triangle so that we have A, B and C. The most important one to label here is uh, big A has to be at the angle that we're trying to find. So we'll get rid of that letter and we'll put our big A here. It doesn't really matter which of the others are A, B and C. So we'll make this one B and this one C. Once we've labelled the angles, the opposite sides uh, are the, the corresponding uh, letters. So this would be side A as it's across from angle A. This would be small C, side C. And this one would be small b. We now have enough information to substitute into uh, the cosine rule. So we have cos a equals, and side b is 14.5. So that's 14.5 squared plus c squared, which is 13.2 squared. Take away a squared, which is... 9.7 squared and that's all over 2 times B 14.5 times C 13.2 We can now uh, work this out on our calculator so first of all we'll give ourselves a little bit more space so when we do that on the calculator we get 0 0.75862 uh, and so on. So that's cos A 0 0.75 and we'll just do a couple of dots to indicate that number keeps going. Now that's not our answer because what we're actually trying to find is angle A which means we have to do the inverse cos of the number we just got, 0 0.75 and the rest. Now, we don't want to clear our calculator screen at this point uh, or round the answer. We simply just want to leave the number, the big long number we have on screen and find the inverse of cos. And when we do that, we get our angle A, which is rounded to one decimal place, 40.7 degrees. Now that's us finished with part A. Part B asks us to hence find the area of the triangle. Now to find the area of the triangle we need another formula which is area A is a half AB sin C. Now to use this formula we need to know two sides, side A and side B, and we need to know one angle, angle C. So if we look at our diagram again, we can see that finding uh, two sides A and B won't be a problem since we know all three sides. The problem is that we're looking for angle C and the way our diagram is labelled, we don't know angle C. 
That's not a problem, however, what we'll do is we'll just clear off uh, the letters A, B and C in the current arrangement and we'll relabel it so that our letters work with our formula. So first of all, from part A, we now know that this angle is 40.7 degrees. Since we need angle C for our formula, we'll call this one angle C. That would make the opposite side side C. Sides A and B and angles A and B then don't matter, so we'll call this one A and B for our angles, which makes this side A and this one side B. What we can do now is substitute our information into our area formula. So we'll move over and do this over here, giving us a bit more space. So area A is a half times side A times side B times sine of angle C. So A equals a half times A, which is 14.5, times B, which is 13.2, multiplied by sine C, which is sine 40.7. If we go to our calculator now, then we should find our answer rounded to one decimal place is 62.4. Our measurements were in metres, so that makes it area square metres, and that's rounded to one decimal place, and that's our final answer.